Welcome back everyone to the BD1P Iron Man streak. Today is going to be a Tainted Cane run. I think I'm saving like my, my guaranteed wins, like I said earlier, like, you know, your Isaacs, your Maggies, your regular Canes, Judas, Eve, Samson, Azazel, for the last like leg of our, our whole entire thing here, because I want to make sure that by the end of this whole entire streak, we have a guaranteed finishing win. But anyways, we're gonna have a pretty okay run, I think, today. Tainted Kane, uh, he got changed a bit, but I think he honestly, generally, is going to be better than he used to be. I haven't played him since the update came out. I played with Bag of Crafting, but not as Tainted Kane, so we will see. Anyways, today's question of the day is going to be, put your answer in the comments down below. What was your favorite class or subject in all of your schooling so far? Whether it's college, high school, middle school, elementary school, preschool, uh, toddler school, whatever whatever you've gone through so far, what was your favorite subject in class and all of that? And, and don't say lunch or PE, you troglodyte. Anyways, let oh, almost I almost agreed mode there. I almost agreed mode there. Oh, we were close. Your seed is going to be NY1ST03B. What a great Steve Tannen came. We're going to know everything here. Actually, I know the seed by heart. We have our key first item room. Anyways, uh, I don't know what it was for me. If you're looking at my... Oh, this is a really good start for us. If you're looking at, like, my, my ACT, my SAT scores, um, I, I would be saying... Four books. Ooh, <laughs> get out of there! Um, we can craft some pretty powerful stuff here. If we just play our gold cards right. Okay, this is a pretty good thing for us. Get a golden penny in there. So far, so good. Now, being at half a heart is scary. I was hoping for a little bit more health back there, but I, I am a player who lives life on the edge on the on the occasions when he wants to. So this is what we're going to be doing today is living life on the edge. Half a heart is half a heart. We have an item room back here that can get our HP back to a normal start, but here we go. Heart drop. Uh, key, huh? That's fine. Ooh, piercing. Not. Another dime? Holy shit, dude. Put that dime in there. We're going to have an, a cracked build. I need the HP, though, if you would so... You know, warrant me at game, please. But yeah, uh, my ACT score is kind of like, like... Math was always my worst subject. I've always, like, kind of hated math. Um, I've found it, to, it... I think it's the best, like, subject in school to learn because instead of it being, like, you know, memorize these 30 facts, it's more application, which is what school should be. School should be more application than anything else. It shouldn't be like, hey, memorize all... F what the fuck is this? Okay. A lot of classes are kind of like, memorize this, you know, memoir or, or this kind of whole deal. Wow, these drops. Oh, a golden key as well. I just want to eat you up. We're going to have a crazy first build here, I think. Our first item. It might be like, actually, can we find a secret room so we can maybe get a bone heart out of it and make like a really cool secret room item for ourselves? You did give me a bomb. I'm going to hedge my bets and say you're right here. Yo, okay. No bone heart, no bone heart, zero bone hearts. Okay. Do I want to wait and save this build or save this for a black heart or an eternal heart for a, a, a more powerful pool item or do I want to craft something random here? And I think the answer is, believe it or not, I'm going to have to wait. This is too good of a start. I mean, two dimes, two nickels, a lucky penny or sorry, a golden penny and a golden key. It's too good to pass up, but Math is always my worst subject. Uh, then it was probably... Uh, I don't understand the... I guess reading and writing is like actual... Oh god, get out of there. Um, I guess reading and writing is more of, of the act of writing or um, creating a piece of written media while literature is like understanding written media. But I, I don't really still get the difference between the two entirely. So when it comes... I, I think reading lit and... Um, uh, like writing are, are the same thing for me. They both uh, like require a a comprehension of, of, of understanding literature. So I'll put those two in the same thing. But science was always my strong suit, which was weird because I didn't really excel in any science classes. In fact, uh, chemistry was my worst class in all of high school. Just besides like you are so dumb. Besides like uh, uh, was it pre yeah pre calculus is really bad. In fact. I probably would have failed pre-calc if it wasn't for COVID happening and me getting like literally like a quarter of a school year on that and free online, you know, learning and all that kind of stuff. If I wouldn't have gotten that, I most likely would have uh, failed pre-calc 100%. How have we seen the Bible twice already in one floor? 
Uh, go, do you want to go back yet? I want more HP before I start going back and grabbing more books. But I do want another really powerful thing. I, I think that this is one of the greatest starts I've had as this character in a while. And I don't want to toss it away off of like a random, you know, quality 2 item room item here. So we're going to try to farm for something really nice here. In fact, farming starts with going for these, because these could have Eternal Hearts, Black Hearts, Bone Hearts in them even. So look for your, your super secret. It should be right here. It should be a guaranteed super secret. Yeah. And, two, you know, I believe we can do better than this. I'm not a big fan of Ocular, and for two golden things and 20 cents uh, worth of dimes, I don't think we, we, we could, you know, we should settle for that. Although we're not getting the, the greatest drops still, which really burns. Don't walk over the spikes, you'll die. Dutch and Dutch. Are there more penny? There is a penny in there. We can buy the Bible in our shop and maybe get like another coin or a better quality drop. Uh, what are you gonna give me? Please something good. Nothing great. Okay, okay, okay. I think you just don't craft anything until after you've beaten your boss or seen next floor's uh, super secret or regular secret too. But I was always really good at science um, in terms of looking for uh, 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 graphs and things like that. Because the, the problem with graphs and math were that graphs and math were purely mathematical. You had to make the graphs yourself, do all the weird circle stuff and, and the weird like tans and, and, and cosines and sines and shit. And that really blew. Uh, with graphs and science, it was just understanding them. I can understand a graph that is already made with like actual, you know, alphanumeric data, but just a, a numeric graph that's like, hey, find the cosine of this like circle on this graph. That shit sucks. I'm really, really go like, god tier awful at that shit. But science graphs, like they, I had almost a perfect 36 on my science ACT and like a, a 22 on my math. So like they were a pretty big disconnect there. My ACT, I, I can dox my ACT score, who cares? It was a um, 28, I believe, my ACT, which is, it's all right. You know, it's, 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 it's pretty average, I think, which is nice. At least I'm not, you know, a complete dumbass. <laughs> no, and the thing is too, let me preface this by saying that, um, your ACT score and your test scores do not determine how smart you are in school. From somebody who, who did well in school but could have done way better if they cared about it, school is more of a measure of your effort than anything else. Um, it's really unfair that we, we base a lot of our... I think our success in life on getting into a good college and getting a good job because you got a good degree. You... Ooh. Now that ain't bad. That is not bad. But do I want that? It's a good craft, but Dark Arch is kind of nerfed, and without that damage buff, I guess it's not a big deal, but I, I, this is my problem with Tana Kane, right? As I get in this loop where all I want to do is craft powerful shit, and I really can't decide on one item to craft, but I'll know it when I see it, right? But uh, anyways, um, the school is like a really bad way to measure your intelligence, I feel like, because more often than not, it, it's just, it's just not, it doesn't serve you right. We'll go for this. Huh. Again, I'm gonna have to pass that up. We'll keep swapping out our pill and our nickel slot for better things. But like, the th if, if you, how, how do I put this, like, you know, in, in a, a non, like, super, like, pretentious way. Um, with, with school, a lot of pressure is put on you as a kid to get good grades because with those good grades, you'll get into a good school. And with that good school, you'll get a good degree. And with that good degree and education, you'll get a really good job. The problem with that fundamentally is that the school system itself and how you measure your grades and your success is is really, really flawed. Um, especially with these most recent policies. I don't know how common it is around everybody else in, in the world or the country, but um, in, in my school, you could retake any test like as much as you wanted to. So pretty much your grades determined how much time you wanted to grind out looking for, for a good test score. That was like the entirety... We just crafted Birthright. We just crafted Birthright on accident, gamers. Let's fucking go, dude. Um, a lot of your success is determined upon, like, how often you wanted to retake tests to get better grades. And essentially what that is, it's just cheating. Imagine, like, you, your entire life is based off, hey, what's your GPA and what good of a school are you in? And that whole thing fundamentally is determined by how many tests have you retaken in school. It's fucked up and it, it makes the kids who... Maybe have like out of school jobs and extracurriculars who can't commit to taking tests over and over because they're busy after hours. It makes their grades worse. The kids who are actually, I think, working harder and getting good grades right away. God damn it, the, the, the broken item is gone. Rip. Um, 
it makes the kids who, who really put the effort and do better in school and, and who, you know, put the time in after hours to do extracurriculars, volunteer work, and shit like that, it really makes those kids overall have a, a worse chance of getting a good education and getting a good job. And it really fucking sucks because as a kid, I was a kid, I, I hated doing retakes. I, I took maybe one of my entire time in high school because I didn't care for them. And I thought to myself, if I deserved a good grade, I would have gotten it off the bat. I would have put more effort in it and tried and studied harder. The solution, I think, to um, retakes is don't allow them, but everything should be curves. If you don't know what a curve is, uh, if you're like in middle school or a younger high school, um, a college curve essentially is instead of basing your tests out of like a 100% score, your 100% is, well, your, your maximum score is based off the highest grade your class got. So for example, the smartest, if you're taking like a math test and the smartest kid in your class gets like a, um, a 95 and you got like a 90. I don't know how to do math in my head this fast, but like I said, the highest grade in your class is a 95. Instead of him getting 95, the smartest kid at the top score would get a 100, and they would scale everybody else's to match that. So you would, in, you would sh curves always give you a higher grade, but I think it's a really good way to match uh, intelligence because it shows that, hey, if the smartest kid or the best kid in your grade could not get a 100, there is something wrong with the teaching at, at, a, at a lower level. That's good for boss fights, so why not? That's really good for boss fights, because you want to be able to kill bosses pretty fast, too. So, I think everything should be curved, but the whole retake policy, at least in my school, was bullshit, dude. The, it was so unfair to me that a kid... Cause I, I had a friend in school, I'm not going to say his name, because he's on he's on the channel a couple of times, I don't want to make him feel, you know, bad or anything. He shouldn't feel bad, obviously. But, um, this is a kid who pretty much would go to school and go home, and he would work every single day, because he had to, you know, help his living situation. And a kid like that, he didn't have time to do retakes because he was super busy trying to, you know, you know, uh, what's, what's the word? What's the word? Um, provide for his home. And because he had provided for his home, he couldn't. He didn't have time to go back into school, take retakes, do stuff over. And so a kid who maybe just has, like, nothing going on at the school could go back into school and take as much as he wanted to. And therefore, technically have a better standing academically than my other friend did, who was probably a lot smarter than the other person. So... In the long shot, retakes are fucked up. They are. And I think I think I've proved my point so far as to why they, they shouldn't be allowed in, in the school system. Because they, they encourage, you know... They, they kind of encourage you not to study at all. Because once you've seen the test, you can just take it over again and know all the material that's going to be on there. Now, granted, tests are always different each time for me. But um, when it came down to it, like they were different, but like very slightly. You know, a couple numbers changed. Once you took your test and you understood the formulas better, what they're going to be applying your knowledge with on the test, you can just take it back over again with all that, that, that you know, knowledge, and you'll be fine. Which is, is complete and utter bullshit, man. I, I don't like it, and I think that nobody likes that whole policy. Okay, this is an interesting one here. I'm going to do this, this, this. I do not want broken stopwatch. Uh, what do you got for me in here that I can buy? I can, I can buy. This is a very good find for us, because it'll drop a black card and a golden penny. Uh, we'll do this. Okay, so euthanasia, again, not bad. We can definitely do better, I think. Belunker's hat. Uh, no thank you. Can we sub out a penny for a pill here? Guppy's head is part guppy. Uh, but again, I'm gonna have to decline your offer. Now, Flip does nothing for us. I got excited for a quick second there. Flip does essentially nothing for you. Okay, start swapping out your, your heart slot for different, you know, kinds of pickups here. Okay, Ocular is back. Again, I don't really want Ocular. That I do want. That I do want. And if we buy this now, we'll, we'll be at Horror Babylon State, which is good damage for us, plus more drops, which I'll pick up this off the bat. You're going in my sack right there. Boom, 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 and boom. I do not want Ghost Babby. Is that a lucky penny? It is not. And I don't want that either. So we'll hold on to our Black Heart Craft for a while here. That was overall a really, really, really good deal for us. Um, yeah, we'll move on down. But I, I don't think you should be allowed to do retakes in school. I think maybe there's a case to be made for one retake only, but like infinite retakes, that shit is bogus. And there are a lot of kids in my school that didn't deserve to have the G. Because, like, the thing is, too, it, it comes down to money as well. Because the higher your GPA is, the higher chance for scholarships. So if a kid really wanted to just take money away from kids who are actually putting effort in and being smart, 
all they had to do was just take tests over and over again. And it ruins somebody's chances who, if they're like a, uh, you know, less privileged person who wants to get into a good school with a scholarship, it takes that chance away from them. And it, that really is, like, super flawed and stupid. And I, I don't think anyone is going to be defending, like, a bullshit retake policy like that. I'd be surprised if you guys were going to, because you guys are, are a smart audience. But, like, I, I just don't get it. I just do not get it. There's a case to be made for the quarter, but <laughs> not a very good one. I wanted the black card gives you devil deal items. I'm I don't know if they changed it like to be at all like different like that, but black cards usually will give you devil deal items. BFF, I mean we can't have it. We cannot have it, but still. Um Contagion's pretty good. Contagion is pretty good. It's all down to the quality of the item, right? Like what what is the most expensive thing we can put in? Oh my god, I hate the willows, dude. Because you're, you're, you're trying to put them in the fire, but you're going to hit by other enemies. Oh my god, ah, crazy. But as someone like me who does... It, it didn't really affect me that much because I was a pretty apathetic teenager. I didn't really put a ton of effort into school just because, like... I, I knew in, in my heart of hearts that school was not going to... I wasn't going to be pursuing a higher education for very long. I figured at the most uh, I was going to be doing, like, maybe... Um, do I want you? You're pretty tight, but I don't know. I don't know still. I knew in my heart of hearts that I was going to be pursuing uh, a different thing in my life just because I, I don't know. Like, school never really appealed to me. Um, I think that in, in, my, in my deep, deep brain, that my mind, my recesses of my mind, I figured like, nah, we, we will just, we'll, we'll put every bomb that we... I don't want Juicy Sack though. Now that, I, it's two black cards and we're now flying. Which means, I'm going to buy one of you, because we get HP back, um, and we get a dime to put in here, and I'm going to put this in there as well, and this, and I'm going to put all the hearts in there too. There might have been a bad buy, but, like, the empty vessel, the craft came at the perfect time. I don't need spectral, though. I, I do not need spectral tears at all. But yeah, I, I didn't think I was going to ever be pursuing a higher education, at least in a, in a very, like in a very like happy way because i i figured to myself like, i've been in school already for like since preschool to senior year right and i, I knew that I was, it's gonna be too much for me as, as a person i was kind of like i know that it's important to have that higher education but you know like it, it's i i can't take it anymore i just i want to i didn't have creativity in high school i wasn't able to branch out and do what i wanted to do and that made me a, a very just like i think it was like it's a very like an, uh, uncaring and apathetic teenager just because I wanted to do stuff that was creative, but I had no outlet for it because school and work was everything. That's what it is when you're a high school kid just trying to make money. School and work really is just everything. Book of Sin isn't bad, but like at the same time, I, I do want to craft something a bit better here. Not Monster Manual, that's not what I wanted to see. Uh, Vengeful Spirit again is not bad. It's not bad at all. I'm gonna put- I'm gonna pick up the key for myself right here. I'll put a bomb in there. Mystery Sack can drop a load of shit, but I don't really care. This Book of Sin again. Ah, oh, man, dude. You know what? I'll craft Book of Sin. It's a free consumable every four rooms for you. And it can be pretty useful, sure. We'll do it. But yeah, I mean, I, I wanted to have a way to creatively express myself more and... Luckily for me, YouTube came, around, came along at the perfect time for me to, like, actually want to... I, well, I can't go through here with the... With the yeah, I didn't think so. Um, YouTube came along at the perfect time for me to want to explore more creative sides of me, and it, it was great. And I thought, you know, as as an individual, like, my, my, my biggest, like, uh, what's it called? Ultimatum with life was I can drop YouTube and Twitch and just focus on uh, streaming. And, you know, try to make that go big. So I had a really, really good first month of uh, content. And I figured to myself, I really want to make this work. I have to put a ton of time into it. I cannot sit back. Do you still, like, end up crafting the same? Ooh. Yes, please. Hell yeah, dude. But I, I was like, okay. Here's the thing. Is I could sit back and I can work on YouTube. And not do school. Because YouTube is a, a, a platform where if you're going to be doing it, you have to be 100% committed to make it fully work. You can't be... I mean, you, you can definitely manage doing school and YouTube and all the other jazz that comes with it. But 
it's going to take away from your content. You're going to be uploading less frequently. You're going to be doing less stuff on the platform, less collabs, less, less things that really benefit you as a creator. So it really came down to school or YouTube for me. And because I already didn't want to really be in school and I had this amazing opportunity and community here, I said, you know what, leap of faith. And the thing with school is too, if this doesn't work out for me, I can always go back to school in the future. It'll be expensive, sure. But school is never like a, once you leave, you're done forever. You can always go back into it. We'll go to the mines. Why not? We'll go to the mines. No tanty rocks, huh? Magic mush? Nah, no, no way, no way, no way. And my other option would have been another curse of the unfreaking known. I have like one heart right now. Ooh, nice. Um, my other option could have been I can put YouTube in the back burner and I can do school. And when I'm done with school, come back and see who's still here on YouTube waiting for me. Which I think would have been... I think I made the right choice. That was an amazing dodge, by the way. I think I made the right choice. Uh, because as it looks like now, I'm, I'm making a living off of this and I'm growing. So this was, this was the right choice. But I wouldn't... If, if I was somebody else, I wouldn't make my same choice. Because I made, I made a channel at the perfect time. I had the Repentance early hype and I had like the, uh, the, the early Iceberg viewership and the Twitch stuff and all that. So like... I, I had accidentally planned for the future already without really realizing it. No. No. I, where's my good shit, man? Come on, Edmund. Where's, where's my good items again? Oh, please give me health. God damn it. No, no health. Okay. We can still work with this kind of, I think. I don't really want that, though. Uh, get the money and get that out of the way. Okay, that's going to ruin our Horror of Babylon, though, so no thank you on that. Our other penny can become... Compass. You know what? Compass is pretty good to have. I'm going to craft it. You do not, I think my biggest thing with this character is it's not all DPS. Utility definitely helps, too. And you know what? Sturdy, dirty Mind's Filthy Friend is actually also pretty good to see here. That's going to give me, uh, again... It's utility and DPS for breaking poops, which is, uh, if I go to the, um, the womb is going to be very nice for us. Potentially depths as well if we find poop floors or poop rooms on there. That could be pretty good for us, I think. Woo! <laughs> Thank God! That was lucky as hell. I think I made the right choice. If I was anybody else, I wouldn't have made my choice because I, I was in a very, like, fortunate position. I had a, I had a place I was living at for, for pretty cheap. I had, you know, I had every avenue in the world to do YouTube and succeed and, and do fine on it. And I'm really happy where I am now, and I, I would not change this for the world. Ooh, those are some really good drops for a guy like me, huh? Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right there. No, I don't want you. I don't want you. Ooh, I do want you, though, 100%. That's going to be amazing with almond milk here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Beautiful stuff, dude. Okay, get that. Uh, get that, and it should be a final craft. Again, fortune cookie, no thank you. We can do better than this. I'll give you a heart right here. I don't need... Whoa, you are not where you're supposed to be right now. Um, This is not what I want to see either. I, I'm fine having Book of Sin for the free, like, potentially really good Black Heart, Spirit Heart card pill drop for us. So we'll stick with this. Ooh. Speaking of card drops. Ooh, you might be really good for us. I need keys, dog. If I can pop a judgment card uh, in a secret room, I can get a bone heart out of that. With our birthright, will give us a ton of bone hearts and stuff to work with there, which is going to be an insanely good craft. So, you, you guys know the drill at this point. I need a key. I can buy my machine for more money. Excuse my nose is kind of clogged right now. And then we can uh, make some big plays happen. They have to blow my nose here soon. I'm getting, I'm getting some, some, some snot up in there, as gross as that may sound. We need more damage as well. This almond milk thing is... Uh, Taking a big hit, I think. Maybe it wasn't the best thing to grab. I do love it, though. It overall is a good item, but this maybe it was not the right time to craft it when our only DPS really is outside of Almond Milk. Um, uh, Hora Babylon, which is a good item as well, but the damage multiplier does not scale well with Almond Milk and items like this, very sadly. Although, if we didn't have it, we'd be in a much worse position. Plus, the speed from Almond Milk ah, helps out a lot as well. So, very, very, very nice. This should be done here pretty soon. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to walk in here. We have, eight, we have good HP now. We have well, better than we used to have for sure. I'm invincible. Go fast. Okay, I'm going to put um, you in there and get out. Uh, eraser. No, thank you. Key. Thank you. I don't want Eraser. 
I really, really don't. We should go to our arcade for more drops in there as well. Just grab Capricorn, who cares? Um, start stubbing things out. Monstro's Tooth again. No, thank you. D8 <laughs> once again. Oh, drop the card. The cards are so annoying with Bracket Crafting. It's really annoying. Um, sub out a penny for, I guess, a heart for right now. Oh, yeah, that's really good, actually. Beautiful. And now you can just put every... Oh, pick up the money. You need the money for Judgment Card later. Do this. And do this. Okay, boys. Now, where the hell is our secret room? Is it a, Is it over here? Are you right? You're right here for sure. Get some, get some mushroom damage in there as well. Okay. Now, there is no item in here. However, Judgment. we can make that happen. No, you're a bomb beggar? God damn it, dude. Why are you a bomb beggar? Oh my god, this is the worst day of my freaking life, dude. I should have crafted the deck of cards. Uh, oh, the drop happened, though. And we did get a bone heart. Isn't that interesting? Okay. Now you want to start crafting big moves here. Because you have the option. To, oh, I did a really bad thing there. To now craft really good moves. Magic 8-Ball is not one of those really good moves. Sure. Now, okay, keep your bone heart in there for a minute. Um, everything is now half-priced. So go wild just buying shit and filling up your sack with soul hearts and the like. Uh, let me look at this right here, right? Clear rune. What does that do for us? Uh, a, a Yara would be nice. I mean, it's not... Okay, honestly, I think Clear Rune is a strong pass. Because normally you look for, like, Yara is going to be very good, obviously, right? And you said, like, Yara... But Perthra does nothing for us. Like, we have... We have, um... What's it called? Uh, empty Vessel for the actual, like, Algis, pretty much. I don't think it does as much as I, I think I would normally take it for. We fucked our bone heart over. God damn it, dude. Ugh, there's too much stuff in the way. Well, we'll go for like an all spirit heart kind of deal here and see what that does for us, maybe. That kind of sucks to lose that, though. Hey, look at that. Speaking of all I'm going to grab one for myself and we'll do this. Mama Mega. That is a free floor clear. But is this worth uh, losing Book of Sin for? And I think no. Also, I realize now the Steam Cell restock thing is going to be busted. Because we get so much money back. What you want to do here is be careful. Okay. Uh, not ideal. Again, not the greatest. Uh, I'm going to bomb you for a nickel, potentially. Good. Well, we'll put that in our sack and roll with it there. Get rid of the heart. The heart is your lowest quality item you can have anywhere. So we'll do that. Pick up this. Ooh. Does that actually work? Because that's going to be busted if that works. It does. Holy shit. Okay. Uh, then buy everything you can at, at all points. Holy shit. This is going to be insane for us. Any restock shop now becomes like really OP. That's insane. The bag of crafting, sack of sacking. It's incredible, dude. Get some money here. Put some soul hearts back in the sack. Make up some more health for yourself though as well. Pick up all the money. You want to have a lot of money now for um, buying things on future floors. We have more to go through? Holy shit. Do that. Okay, buy this. Yeah, we're going to have a good run here, it looks like, boys and girls. A great run, even. Put a pill in there. Get some hearts. Cra use your hearts to craft anything at this point. You can, you can, because hearts are useless for you right now. Hearts are very, I should use the card to craft with, you dumbass. Boom. Boom. We'll go like this. Boom. Mask of Infamy. Very good. Craft that up. Get some more of this stuff. All right. Now, do some more of this, huh? It's going to break now. It didn't break? Holy shit, dude. We're going to get so much DPS here. Joker card. I'm the Joker, baby. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. A two Eternal Hearts. Two. Walk out. You want, your range is too big. Walk out. Two Eternal Hearts there. Holy, dude. Holy. Uh, what does this do for you? Glyph of Balance is fine, but I, I don't really need it right now, I feel like. So we'll do some more. 
Should be our last one here. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Just, can I get one more cent here, please? That's what I wanted to see. Now we swing this eraser into big things. Okay. First thing you do here is very obvious. You go underneath there. Celtic cross. Not, not needed. Glowing hourglass. Pretty good, but again, not needed. Then you want to turn this singular penny. Um, I don't really... Well, does Almond Milk Dr. Fetus... Like, we have a chance to get a really good angel item here. Don't, don't do this to yourself. What else can you give me here? Um, do keys change this at all? It does change it. Doesn't do much for us there, though. That's piercing. That's piercing. Uh, but not really good for our current build, though, I would say. You know what? Fuck it, dude. I, I like this item. is very fun to me. It's very fun to me. It, it, it'll be okay to use, trust me. Uh, get, pick up your card normally here. Get this back. Uh, do one of these. Oh, don't mean to pop that, but we'll go in here. Sure, why not? I, I can buy Abyss. I have the hearts for that, for sure. Just don't land on me, Mom's hand. That was a lucky penny. Damn it, dude. Okay, buy Abyss. Sure. Uh, take that black heart in stride. Boom. Boom. Uh, boom. Boom. And boom. And they go boom. Boom. I don't need that, though. We're fine. Uh, buy this for more stuff. Ooh, what card are you? Another magician card? Really? Uh, suck that thing up in your, in your sack and keep it there, huh? You are actually sort of useless, believe it or not. You're kind of useless. Okay. Get this and leave. Just, just leave. So, that was a very good room for us. I kind of went a little bit game meta heavy banter on that one, but I think it was for a good cause. We have a great, we have good damage now, finally. Good speed. Everything else is amazing. This run turned out to be very, very profitable for us, if you will. That was not our super? Is it over here? But yeah, I, as I was saying earlier, I was in a really good position to just not have to really worry about my my social or, or financial standing with going into, um, dropping out of school. And that gave me this opportunity right here to play games live for you guys and, and then, you know, just have fun. And I, I really appreciate that a lot. Uh, I don't want to fight you. You, you are kind of like the worst boss ever made. You have so much HP and boss armor, it's insane. You are one of the, I think one of the toughest, like you, you're not the hardest mines boss at all, but you might have some of the, the highest random HP amounts here. You're, you're easy to dodge enough, so why not? I'll get another bomb in there. Ah! Oh! Hey, we did damage there at least. You know, another one down here, sure. Oh, we got him with that one too, he's so bad. Bye bye, bye bye. Okay, what do we get here? No devil deal, please? Ow, no deal. That drops us another freaking eternal heart. Okay. Hallowed ground. <laughs> Again, like not really needed that much. All we can pray for is another uh, restock machine for infinite gains. That's pretty nice. Pretty nice. And our HP is so fine. Another library? Two and a planetarium? What? 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 We had... Huh? Huh? Oh, we crafted a magic aid ball. Holy shit, dude. A 15% planetarium. Not bad at all. That sacrifice room might be really good for us. I don't know yet, though. Okay. Nothing amazing yet. We'll save those drops when we, we want to craft something a little bit more powerful. Neptunus gives us nothing, nothing really useful here. The money is nice to have, I guess, but... I don't want to pick up anything yet. I want to get a really powerful craft with an eternal heart and a black heart, which comes from going to your shop, I think. And then using that, and then you, it's, after you get that, just craft random shit with all the stuff on the ground, the library and planetarium. And that's your kind of run going on there. That's a good trinket. That's a very good trinket for IV machines and the likes of that. You know what? You get some bomb. You paid out pretty nicely last time. You know what, buddy? I'll treat you here. You are so greedy. Just for two cents, really? Like eight bombs for two cents? You are an asshole, kind of. Bombs are... I shouldn't be throwing them away that easily, but still. Like, that was... Last floor, that guy was huge for us. Yo, and... Dude. Dude. Everything we get is just, like, piling on top of each other. This is pretty good. Um, where do you want to use this? I think, again, it's the secret room. For sure. Like, you definitely want to use it. Oh, my God, dude. Uh, in the secret room. 
We really uh, want this. What am I? What's that craft? Dude. Hell yeah. <laughs> uh, you normally, you, you know, don't know those recipes very well, but you know, oh, I didn't mean to do that. I wanted to pop that in, or I wanted to put it on the ground and, and void it up, but okay. Uh, let's do something here. Because if we become uh, Taint or Dark Judas, we can't no craft anything any longer, which would be kind of a damper. But, uh, another Steam Sale. Just, just pick it up. You, it's not going to benefit you at all. Just do that. And then put the soul heart in your sack. Put that in your sack. Do that. And then do this. And then one more. Sure. More you know, bombs are good to have. Why not? Fast placing mega super ultra bombs. Why not, man? And we'll go back. We'll start crafting a bunch of random shit with random drops on the floor. At this point in the run, I think what you want to do the strategy here is just craft as much as you can before you die. Because you can create, like, you can turn a really bad item to a really good item with, the, with this character, obviously. That's the whole mechanic, is turning bad items into good items by crafting them. And a charge key does uh, just that. What are you? Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Um. My, my plan still stands. My plan 100% still stands. Give me a minute here. I'm going to do some, some rough planning here. So... The reverse fool puts down your your health and, and bombs and keys and all that in item form on the ground. Correct. And I can use that. I can pick up a bunch of bombs. Hopefully, like around 20 to 30 bombs. Use the reverse fool and craft some really powerful shit. So grab every bomb that you can right now. A rune as well for our crafting thing. You could have just said that earlier, man. Holy shit. And I don't know where the hell my secret room is going to be. Is it right there? Ah, ah, no, thank you. No, thank you. I hate the necros so much. Oh my god. Infamy, thank you so much. And a fame of, or uh, empty vessel, obviously. So, put a bomb right here. Walk in. Uh, place your judgment down. It's always the weird ones. <laughs> it's always the weird judgments here. Do they make it so that Tana can't, cra can't craft like regular judgments anymore because it's, it's a little OP for farming item pools? Did they, did they change that honestly? Because that, that'd be a good change, but a very sad one at best. I want to get a pedestal down in here with you. The more bone hearts, the better. The more bone hearts, the better. Plus rotten hearts help too. Don't forget about it. Those are, those are pool dependent items for sure. Please? Can you just give me a pedestal, man? Like... Damn. Ay, ay, ay. Well, I can go and just get more money in, in these rooms that are just random shit in them. I can, like, here's what I can do, right? There, there's tons of pennies everywhere. Pennies are not great for crafting much. I'll just pick up every penny that I can right now. That, that's my goal. We'll get every penny. We'll pay that guy out. Hopefully, he drops a, a freaking uh, thing for us, though. Oh, my God. Um, I also want to get more bombs. So, like, my reverse fool does more stuff for us. So... Pick up everything that you that, that you that you can. Except I think yeah, pick up the keys too. Who cares? Uh, yeah, pick pick up all of it, man. Every everything here benefits you. There's no need to use crafting for for stuff as low grade as that when you have a potential to get like something really really high grade here. So we will just pick up everything that we can. Walk all the way back. It's just a tainted cane strategy, right? These runs are a bit longer because it's tainted cane. But I actually genuinely I love this character so much. I think he's, he's so much fun. You can disagree and agree, whatever you want to do there, but I think he is, is a very, very, very fun character. I like planning my runs out like this. Give me that as well. I like doing this kind of stuff. I should grab that rune in my crafting bag soon here, shouldn't I? That'd be pretty nice to have. Please just drop a pedestal, man. That's all I want from you. I don't care what the item is. It can be anything. Just drop a pedestal, please. Please. Dude, I've given you so much money. You're like, you guys like never pay out. You know that? You like never pay out. Nobody plays you because you suck and you don't pay out. Nobody at all. You're trash. You're, 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 you're terrible. I hate you. Give me $500. You're a joke. You're actually a joke.
He is never going to pay out, is he? I should not waste my time with him. What I should be doing is getting more bombs for myself. Uh, can I swing five more bombs here somehow? 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 I guess you just put this in there. Um, pick up this stuff. I, I need... I want to use five more bombs to make it a bit more of a, of a swing. That'll give us five bombs in the ground and then uh, some more. So we'll do that. We'll go for five bombs. This fight your... It should be Sinch here. Yeah. You're a fine boss. You Do we melt? We melt pretty hard right here. It's our flies, honestly. And our, it's our piercing shots, too. Dead Onion was a good... You're an asshole. Was a good craft for us. Come on. Perish. Don't jump. Thank you. Okay. We did get five more bombs. Okay. What's in here? Just to be curious about it. That's really good for, tar for Dark Judas if we can get back in there with Dark Judas. But for right now, it's not the most important thing. Okay. Get your HP back. Get this. Pick up your keys. And this is your time to start really shining. Boom. Okay. One bone heart. Boom. Okay. One bone heart. And a lucky penny. And boom. Another bone heart here. Okay. Clear the area. Clear the area. Wow, that's ironic, isn't it? Um, The first thing you drop is a rotten heart for, I would assume, a soul heart here. Two of those does nothing for us, if I do recall, with my insane game knowledge. Now that, that, my friends, is an item you'd really want to have because that is a d20 for you. Meaning, um... Oh, we can also craft actives in these rooms. Yeah, that's right. I you could do that, dude. Uh, which means... We can roll... All of this good stuff... Into... Uh, more really good things for us. Potentially items like that. Drop your card on the ground. And a full-ass battery as well for a game break here. And then you just pick this up. You get a bone heart out of it. Mucho good. I just put the card in there. What cards are these, huh? Hermit? Hanged man? Uh, all right. I'm going to put you in the soup. I don't really need... <laughs> I don't really need straw man, to be honest with you. Uh, not top of my to-do list here. We'll do one more of these. I don't want to craft... I want to keep using my D20 here. I do. Ooh... What a, what a zesty one, huh? What a zesty one. Uh, the penny that needs to go. Flip again. I don't really need that, to be honest with you. Uh, more items, please. Damn, no more items out of that one. Uh, you give me just random shit. Judgment cards? Yo, insane. Okay. You pop the judgy down. It's the wrong kind of judgy. Sun card. Justice is very nice. Uh, yeah. Another one is also very nice. Pick that up for yourself. I guess play him. If you die, you become Dark Judas anyways, right? Not the worst thing in the world. Please? You are, that's crazy. Oh my god. That could be a game breaker in itself. I'm not going to worry about butter right now. There's no point in worrying about butter. Roll it. Bomb. Woo! Saw that one from a freaking mile away. Okay. Eternal Heart is a thing I'm kind of eyeing up right now. So we'll go for that. We'll trade out a card for uh, an eternal heart here. Clear the path. Holy light with our current build is definitely worth it. I'm crafting that. Look, look how many. We're going to have so many. Yeah, look at one, two, three behind us as well because the continuum. Amazing. Very nice. Very, very nice. Okay. Uh, you can maybe get one more charge off of... Well, you can maybe get some like good cards here as well. That half soul heart is speaking to me right now. Pick pick that up. Pick that up. Okay. Good. Uh, I see a mini battery I can grab down here. Nice. And I'm going to go and look in our shop for one more battery charge. I'm kind of gaming like a little bit of a, a meta thing right now. But I, I think it's definitely... Yeah, there we go. Going to be super worth it. So just trust me on this. Because there's a lot of shit in that room. I passed it already. 
There we go. Okay. Okay. This is probably going to be our last roll here. We get no more batteries on the ground. Hill is unknown. Who cares? You know, at this point, dude, what's, what are the cards, though? The cards are still important to me. Like, for example, every, it's the wrong one every time. You know what? Sure. Damage up. Why not? Boom. 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 And boom. Sure. Pills for crafting. Why not? We'll get a full pill thing almost going on here. Go that. Do that. Do this. Do that. I don't really want that, though, is the issue. Not on that. No thank you as well. I don't really want that either. Uh, just start, again, just start throwing stuff in there so something works, you know? We're crafting the same thing over and over. It looks like that's fine. Yeah, eyesore. Pretty good item. Uh, we will now bomb all of this together. Some spiders out there. A rotten heart for us. Pick that up. All right. That was a really good floor for us. Um, we can go to our boss trap room, I guess, now. Craft a little bit more stuff. I'd love to get another Joker card here to go to our devil room and, get, and just die and become Dark Judas again, but is not in the cards, it looks like. So, yeah, we'll just, we'll just move on from here. It was a longer floor, but I think we played our cards extremely well here. Yes, good. Craft it. Okay, even if we die here, we get we have good stuff. Plus, if we die, we'll have a six damage almond milk going on here, which is an insanely good build, mind you. I can fly this right, good stuff. Plus, permanent horror Babylon and empty vessel. You know how it is, very good stuff. But yeah, uh, we'll, we'll banter some more now because I'm done with my meta gaming game breaking here. Um, when it comes down, oh, okay, nice one, dude. When it came down to school, what the ones, the, the things that I really tried hard and like get good grades. I think like the. My most try-hard class is probably Human Anatomy, which is funny because it's supposed to be one of the harder classes you can take in high school. But I loved that class. Like, I, I loved Human Anatomy so much. It was my favorite class in all of high school, I think. Uh, and for someone like me who couldn't even, like, do chemistry very well, I was not set to pass that class from, from the get-go. You know, I was like, oh, I'm going to have a really bad, like, you know, grade. It's going to be a hard class for me. I wanted to have a nice, easy senior year. But as, as it turns out, um, I had a really good knack for it, and I ended up getting one of the highest grades in my grade in a medical class that I had no prior experience in, which told me, hey, BD1P, you should go into the medical field. And I thought, yeah, it's a good idea, BD, other BD1P, I'll go into the medical field. And then I realized that to go into the medical field, you have to have, like, um, a lot, best item in the game, you have to have, like, a lot of, uh, what's the word here? A lot of them prior experience in terms of like clubs, like Hosa and stuff like that. And because, holy shit, because I didn't have the, um, and that was my first like medical class or like any kind of important class in my entire career of high school. I didn't have the background to properly succeed. Um, oh, nice. In a, a sort of, um, medical environment like that. So what I could have been is a great fucking like nurse assistant or a doctor's assistant if I would have taken a medical class, you know, two years prior, which kind of burns. It honestly burns a little bit. I could have had some good things go. You know what, dude? For Dark Judas, I'll craft you. So we are probably going to die here pretty soon. Or not. Or not. We kind of found our way into an item which could give us a spirit heart. Spirit heart. Damn it. So many nickels, though. My lord. This is like this is like Jeff Bezos' house in Isaac. No, thanks. I don't really need you. That's pretty nice, but I, again, I don't really need you that well. That's a tears up, and it's a spirit heart for us. Look what the freaking doctor just got. Um, I, I think that if I would have taken a medical class, like maybe a couple years prior, I would have 100% loved to go into the medical field. 100%. Because I, I it, like the human anatomy stuff, it made sense to me. Because I'm, I'm a big, obviously, I'm a big reading guy. I loved, you know, like language arts, and I was very good at reading. I had... The highest ACT, or SAT, or what was it? The highest um, final essay grade in my grade. I was pretty good at uh, English. And I, because I was good at English, I knew a lot of like Latin root words and stuff like that. And all medical terminology is, is just how good do you know your root words? And for me, it was very, very well. I, you could name like any root word right now and I would know what it means. Um, I, just, I just knew that stuff from reading a lot of Greek stuff when I was younger. And just, just being overall like into mythology and shit. 
you're good. You're fine. Uh, it, it was it was a very you know, I guess surprisingly easy class for me. I don't want to like. We don't really need that, do we? I'm not trying to like you know, you know, jack myself off by saying that. But I'm just saying like I, if I was not a YouTuber, I would have uh, damage. Yeah, baby. I would have definitely gone into the medical field. Uh, would I still go back in if, for some reason, YouTube tanks? It's too expensive for me to go back into it and, and feel like I'm making enough money out of it. So probably not. Uh, if schooling was free, I'd give it a, a damn near shot. You know, I, I would definitely would give it a try. But as it stands now for um, current, like, climate of, uh, you know, America and stuff like that, it, it's too expensive for me to go in there and... and feel good enough about it you know i just realized too we do have the d1 technically so we can d1 like bone hearts and black hearts for really insane drops if we so please uh i'm not gonna really focus on doing that too much i think we've already grinded out for our really cool build i'm not gonna you know go much harder what i would like to see though is perfection or good luck like with, with phd luck pills please i'd love to see that right now Take that, sure. Shot speed. More pills. Full health we don't need. I'll take that one, sure, for, for more bullets, I guess. I don't want the HP. That can become more good stuff for us, so why don't we just do this and this and this and this and this and this? Why not? Okay. This is kind of our final floor to do some really big strategies. because we have a shop here. Uh, I'm going to go into the shop and... I'll probably do my, my D20 strats in the shop this floor because we have, like, a lot of stuff on the ground in there. Plus, a high chance for batteries to spawn in the shop and things like that. So, we'll probably end up D20ing in the shop right here. Beautiful stuff. Okay. Alright, what do you want here? Get the health for yourself. Um, and put that in there. D20. Clot friend. Hell yeah, dude. Ah, watch out. Watch out. Watch out. There is an extra battery here. So don't fret. Don't fret. Okay. I'll pop you for sure. What could you give me? Black market, maybe? No. No, thank you. Not not that. Please, no. Anything but that. <laughs> we'll pick up this for ourselves. We'll buy the battery charge. We'll open up this chest. Looking for any kind of rare drops here. Okay. There's some rare cards over here. Queen of Hearts, big. Two of Clubs, it's okay. Uh, I don't really want to use that ever. Uh, Golden Key is pretty nice. We'll put that in our sack for sure. I don't see a battery though in here, sadly. HP is great. Uh, pill? Not necessarily super useful. I can see Where's that card going? Sun? Don't need that. Sure. One. Another cracked key. Okay, or charge key, excuse me. Okay. Make room. Make room for this golden key. Actually, who cares? Just suck it up. Uh, get your cracked key as well. That's an amazing drop for you. Ah. Rosary. Okay. We can get another charge here. We have one, two, three, four, five, and then plus technically the boss trap room for an extra battery thing going on. We could have used the cracked key for a battery charge. I get that, but like... I, you're, you're still kind of splitting hairs at that point. This run is fucking crazy, by the way. This is insane. Like, actually. Oh my god. Bomb it. And bomb it. Nice. You know what? Sure. We'll try that. Nothing happened there, though. Okay. Yeah, I guess you're not... You may not get a charge here at all, which is, I guess, totally fine. Um, That black heart means a lot to me. Can I get you in here? Yo, okay, 100%. That's an amazing craft for us. Jesus Christ. Battery pack. Craft me battery pack. Can we get another battery pack in here? Or something like that. Blue candle. Eraser. Lil Hashi. Book of Sin is back. Starter deck? Okay. I see you. No more pills or sucks, but that's good. Uh, why don't we put our all of our cards in our sack right now? Boom, boom. Get Clop Friend back here. Why don't we open up you as well? Let's just throw everything in here and just start crafting shit. That's almost, that's Beelzebub almost. Do that, do that, do that. Nope, don't want that. I uh, don't want that. Nope. 
Sure, Quint's fine, man. Who cares? Bang. 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 Do not need that. Get more bomb synergies for ourselves. Amazing. One, two. Last thing is that. Okay. Yeah, I think you just go fight your boss. Uh, will I go to Beast on this run? I will go to Beast. We have a great build for Beast. We're going to just fucking destroy Beast as hard as we can. This is an amazing experience. I love Tainted Kane so much. Look at that damage. Nuker my coast is out there eventually. The problem with Mom is it's not a good damage. Like, you know, it's not like a way to like show off your damage here because Nuker my coast doesn't work very well on it. But uh, I'm bothered to stay on the screen for as long as they possibly can. It really is a good one. All right. We'll cut us out of here. Next floor, we will do some more game breaks, probably. But we'll also be able to become Dark Judas willingly and get double damage and get our spirit heart health pretty high. The Gunga, though, kind of sucks. I can see my HP for the third floor of this run. Let's go, dude. Nice. Okay, those are good Dark... In fact, I'm going to become Dark Judas at the end of this floor. I want to use my crafting for a little bit more. Just a tiny bit more. Um, But we should be good. Another PhD. It doesn't really do much for you, does it? Uh, that's, that's good for Dark Judas, I guess, but not really anything too special. Okay. Ooh. That's nice. Nope. <laughs> not my favorite thing to see. No, thank you. No, thank you. No, thank you. No, thank you. Actually, yeah. I'll do this. I'll do this for sure. Ah! Why did you spawn a troll bomb on me? Oh my god. One. Two. We're gonna go for a, a alabaster box craft here. And then we'll go for... um. Oh, watch out. What's hitting me? We'll go for Dark Judas after that. After that. Craft me PJs again, please, game. Please craft me more PJs here. This run is so busted. Actually crazy busted. Ah! We made it, boys. Let's go. This is one of my favorite runs on the streak so far. I think 100% soul hearts. Thank you. Please craft alabaster box uh, on this floor. It will drop you three soul hearts for becoming Dark Judas as well. So a very, very, very good find for us. I think our item room might give us all, this, all the hearts we need. The item room might be it for us. Okay, watch out. What are you? You know... I don't want to lose Birthright, though, uh, because Birthright's really good as Tainted Judas. However, oh, that's, that, that's HP, that's Soul Hearts. No, it's not. Damn it, you're an idiot. It is not Soul Hearts for you. God damn it, you're so dumb. There goes your Horror Babylon for now. Ow. Ow. <laughs> we need, oh, I can't fly anymore. Right, I cannot fly anymore. That is a big ouch. Anything good here? I don't believe so, to be honest with you. I do not believe so. Come on, shop. What do you got for me? Restock machine, please. That's infinite stuff for us. It was greed. Not good. King baby? Ah, you're going to be closer to Conjoined, I guess. Why not? Craft that up, I guess. I never use him ever. He's kind of a shit item, but whatever. Tell me what you can get at this point in the run. I just need more soul hearts if the game feels so inclined. Which, it could happen here. It could be good. Wow. Actually, do I want to wait on that and become Dark Judas? I, I want to become Dark Judas and pick that up with almond milk, actually. Because I'm a fucking sadist, I guess. That might kill us. I don't know. But it sounds like it be a really fun synergy. So go for it. Go for it. Please, soul hearts, dude. Sissy, I guess. You're part spider baby as well. And more bugs to have on our run. I'm just crafting everything here hoping for some kind of soul heart drop. That's all I need. And we're kind of running out of options for that. And it does scare me because we're only going to have two hearts as Dark Judas. Which is a terrifying thought. There's that. Just two of these, really? That's it? What about in here, huh? What about in here? Please? No soul hearts. We do get to fight a cool boss, though. Kill it, kill it, kill it. Where are you? Watch out. I'm, I'm staying safe. Don't worry, gamers. I'm staying really safe over here. 
They're going to die pretty fast, it looks like. There we go. Okay. Don't want that. Don't want... We keep getting the same exact shit over and over again. It's pretty annoying. Get out of here. You still craft gambling slot, funnily enough. I see only guaranteed craft here, I guess. Ay ay ay, dude. Ay ay ay. I need soul hearts. I desperately need uh soul hearts. More continuum is pretty funny, I guess. You're not wrong about that. That's more bombs. Again, like, come on. We've gotten so many hearts in every other floor to find greed on this is a fucking slap in the face. It truly is. Uh, where, where's your super secret room, I guess? That, that's your last question you gotta ask yourself here. Is where the hell is your super secret room? Okay, walk out. Walk back in. Place a bomb down. There it is. Walk on in. Yes, dude! Okay. For my alabastered box. All you. Justice. Okay. Drop everything on the ground right here. No! Okay, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Um... Here's what I'm gonna do. That's what I'm doing. That is my, my ultimate play right there. And then... Soul of Cain could be really good for us. The reason I did that was because I need the HP. We're not going to be able to get Soul Hearts for a while here because of our Alabaster box. So I kind of needed that. Um, we also have Soul of Cain. Probably want to use that for. Pick everything. It doesn't matter. Pick everything up right now. You don't have any way to get, break the game anymore. You are now... A, you have pretty good stats, though, believe it or not. I mean, I believe it, obviously. But you have pretty good stats. So use that to your advantage here. <sighs> Where would your red room be? I'm kind of thinking. Where would your red room be? Uh, I think above the shop. That is my best guess for it. It's going to be above the shop. It can't be. Uh, next to your boss trap room then? I'm sorry I'm still like scattered right now. But like this run is genuinely scaring me. And I, I can't do it. I can't do this right now. Okay. It can be there. It was here. Good find. Good find. Please? Eh. Could have been better. It's still pretty good, though, obviously. We have... One more red room. It is a curse room, though. I don't think I want to enter into that. I'm going to pick up all my remaining stuff off the ground right now. So we have, uh, you know, assets for ourselves. And then... I guess just move on. Don't forget about Ipecac. You kind of want to have that, I feel like. Uh, I'm not, I, I should go for, I should go for Inner Child 100%. We, we're going to need Inner Child in this run. Inner Child might be the way we win. So, I should probably drop whatever the hell is right here in our item room for ourselves. And while I'm there, pick up Ipecac. It might kill us though is the issue. Yeah, that was a bad pickup. That was a very bad pickup. I wanted to have fun, though, and fun we're going to have. Oh, God, dude. Oh, that's not bad for, for war, especially on this run. Okay, Beelzebub now. God, dude. My Lord. What am I going to do with myself on this run? I need the soul hearts. I need the soul hearts. Everything past this floor does a lot of damage. Did nothing. Gave us Bercano. I'll go into here as well, I guess. Yes, okay, good. Good, good, good. Go, my pretties. Attack. 
Prayer card is so good. Holy shit, we might have a chance. Holy shit, we might have a chance. Like I said last video, there's no point in having a streak if you're not going to risk it at every turn. There's no point. Here we go, boys. We may have a chance to actually do this here. The boss fights will be fine. It's the normal rooms that concern me. Okay, 19 damage Fortnite card. Who wants it? I'm, I'm nervous as fuck, dude. Just get over it. You spent it? How could you spend our savings? I mean, if we just keep moving, we really can't be hit, I feel like. If you just go out of our rooms as fast as you possibly humanly can, you might be alright, dude. You might genuinely be okay. Just use your, your uh, prayer card sparingly at the end of your floors, so you don't lose like, an eternal heart randomly like that, and you should end Ascension off with having... I should have gone for a full charge there. With having a lot of HP, and therefore, a freaking good-ass chance to win, my man. This might be actually really good for us. Just be careful. Again, you have a lot of good fly damage, too. They're, they're, they're 40 damage flies. It's very, very nice. And you are Beelzebub, too. So you can gain flies that way. There's your, your full charge. We might actually do this. I am kind of... I should not regard Ipecac as my fault, but... I, I still stand by it that it's going to be fun. If it's fun, I'll always do it. If, if, the, if the synergy is fun, you can bet your ass I'll always be doing it. God damn it. I got hit there as I said that, huh? Watch out. Empty Vessel as well could be really good for the beast fight. Inner Child might be the way we win. Okay, you, you got to go for a full charge here. Don't, don't do this dumb shit. Okay. Why is that item room look? Did we not go into this item room? No, we did. We did. Might as well like go back in, I guess. All right. Another heart for you. Make up for your losses. Hop it. Go on up. Ay ay ay, dude. Looking back now, I wish I would have crafted the battery. <laughs> uh oh. I'm hitting myself. Okay. Be more careful. Be more careful. Watch where those tears are going. Make sure you're not where they are. Okay, or you can hit yourself. That works too. I don't know, guys. I don't know. Oh, God. We had a free room clear. That's right. <laughs> I was kind of like, wait a minute. Why well, are these guys attacking me? But we had a full room clear there. All right. We're going to need to use all of our judgments that we can if we find them on this run. Scary, scary. I got hit there. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. God damn it, dude. I'm not going to get a full charge here, am I? Just move on. That doesn't matter. You better turn heart back there anyways. Okay. Let, okay, okay. I, all I got to do right now, I think, honest to God, if I'm focusing, I feel okay. I'm, 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 go, I'm invincible. If I'm focusing, though, I feel okay. I got to really focus, though. Gotta really focus. I'm gonna talk a little bit less though, just so I can make sure the run's gonna be a win, a one run. This far into our street. Ah, that was a dumb play. I walked where the tears were walking. Continuum, not the best thing to have right now. Where is that tear going? Leave me alone. Where are all these tears going, dude? Ah, come on, Quince. Come on, buddy. Hey, okay, there's a heart for us right there. Watch out. Watch out. Good. Don't do it. Let your flies do the damage here. If you can pacify most rooms, you can gain hearts off of that mechanic and, and use stuff that way. So maybe not shooting is truly the answer here. By not doing anything, you can you can avoid taking damage and also deal damage. Which might be the only way you can probably win here. Because these boss fights, they might be easier or harder in these actual rooms. I'm not sure which one they're going to be. Because on the bright side, we can move around a lot easier and just keep firing and do a lot of damage. But on the opposite side of that, I don't know. Go for full clears for judgments, though. I hate this room. You as a room has suck. Full clears, full clears. Be careful. No leeches hit me. My own tears, though, they might. Oh, they might. <laughs> Nope. 
Ah, no! Jesus Christ, I thought I was out the door already. Okay. Go on up. Go on up. Okay, back it up. Don't- if, if you don't have to shoot, don't shoot. If you don't have to shoot, don't shoot. You literally are gonna deal safer damage by just using your orbitals. By just using your orbitals. So you don't gotta shoot? Ah, man, don't shoot, buddy. Buddy pal, thank you for that one. Luck helps with holy lights. Okay. I may have to shoot- oh, I can bomb, I can bomb. I have bombs, that's right. Egg sack bombs to be, to be, you know, precise about it. I do have bombs. Okay. Good clear right. That was beautiful. Okay. Just stay back. I see guys up there, but stay back. You're cool. Okay, Eternal Heart right there. Sun card could be helpful. Just do this. Oh, these guys all die real quick. God, that was so dumb. Oh, no. No, oh, get away from me! God damn it, dude. Holy shit. This fucking blows. Why did I grab it? I had the most guaranteed win of all time. And I'm like, hey guys, let's go grab Ipecac. Why did none of you stop? Nobody in the in the in the future chat stop me from doing this. This is on you if I lose the streak. This is on you. Just one more clear, dude. All I need is one more clear. But crack key is better for inner child, so hold on to it for that reason. Leave a judgment here. Good. Cower and you're fine. How did you tank a whole ass bomb? Thank you, my lord. I'm really fucking focused right now and it just kind of scares you. I'm, I'm never this focused when I'm playing Isaac, ever. Ugh. Keep going, let your flies do all the damage for you. The less rooms you shoot, the better. Go a nice big floor for getting charges here, though. That's at least a positive of this of this whole, you know, ascension BS. I should have not gone to beast. Good. You're going to get one, two, three, four. Uh, you have six more rooms. You're going to be short one for a charge. Once again. You'll be short one for a charge. Ah! <laughs> that was really dumb. Get over the rocks at your flight of the damage for you. Again. Got a one room shortage, huh? Yes! Please don't break. Please just drop so many soul hearts for me. We get a bed next floor for HP as well. We get a bed, don't worry. Come on. Soul hearts, Hierophant cards, Judgment cards, like any of the above, please. I will sit here as long as I need to, gamers. I will. I will. In terms of, like, favorite subject overall, though, it probably was, like, reading lit. Just because I feel like I was... I, I like reading stuff, and I, I understand, like... I can do pretty nice literary analysis, I feel like. Sun card. So I really do enjoy, um... Reading lit. The actual writing part, I'm good at writing, but I just don't like it. I feel like I, I never make my points properly, even though I, I do good on my tests and shit like that. I feel like I never make my points properly, or as well as I personally want to, which is a, is a big thing for me. It's the same thing with I said, you know, last episode about YouTube. Um, when I'm making content, I make it for myself, so I, I know I want to watch it. And if I want to watch it, somebody else wants to watch it. If I don't want to read my own paper, why would I write it? And I'm pretty bad about that. Come on, dude. Please, more hearts. I usually, I, I want three hearts minimum here by you. I got two so far. Maybe full HP could be nice as well. We can maybe pull this through here, man. This is the riskiest run of the streak so far. God, fuck you. Okay. Sun card every room now, so you can clear without having to shoot anything. That was, the, I'm so bad at this game. Good flies are good to have, though. Don't forget about those guys. Um, make sure you have this. 
and this. I guess grab this for one extra charge if you can, possibly. Sun card immediately. Not this room. Do it here. It didn't work for some reason. Okay, cool, cool game design, actually. Really nice feature. Please open up. Oh, I'm not going to get a charge because, uh, yeah. All right, that makes sense. Okay. Cracked key. Uh, devil card. Clot friend. Maybe I don't want clot friend, dude. I don't know. Sure, we'll go for it. All right. Yeah, the bed for an extra three hearts is going to be close. It's going to be really fucking close. I don't know how to call this right now, man. I don't know how to call this run. This is scary. This is really scary. Can I please get a soul heart in my closet room right here? If you allow me, game. Bombs are going to be fine, though. Bombs are going to be good. I should have grabbed safety scissors for the actual thing. Yeah, yeah. All right. Extra life. Range is good. It keeps our tears farther away from us, I guess, and in the air for longer. We're, go, 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 go. You're invincible. Go, 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 go. You have, you have all your iframes you ever needed in the world. Oh, you're almost, you're almost not invincible. Also, wait, wait it out. Wait it out. Wait it out. God damn it. I couldn't. I feel like I couldn't go anywhere there. Why did you go on my face, though? Okay. Stop shooting, you're hurting yourself. God damn it, dude. This might be the hardest run I've played in a long time. And my, it's my own fault, too. You're, go, you're invincible, just shoot. Watch your shield, though. Ah! Ah! ah you walked into that one, you fucking idiot. Okay. Might be a chance. Here, go, you're, you're, have iframes, just go hard. We're almost out, so be careful. I am my own worst enemy on this run, guys. I truly have been. Although, I think because there's no ground in here, the uh, tears are not going to hit me as often, if at all. You're taking dumb damage still, apparently. Oh, we have prayer card, though. Hold on. You know going to suck, though, is the beast with has, like, all like the, the pillars. That's going to be really hard to deal with. You're, you have iframes go in. Watch yourself. Be careful. Stay on him. Stay on him. Stay on him. Okay, you're good. Holy shit. You have iframes go in. Empty vessel, you're so good. Oh! Infamy, yes! Okay, okay. I'm fucking terrified. The beast is gonna be the hardest one because of the pillars, dude. I can't shoot in the pillar section, I'll hurt myself. God damn it, dude. God, I couldn't go anywhere there. You had me sandwiched. I can't shoot here very well either, though. Oh, iframes, go! There we go. Okay. Four hearts and one respawn.
As close as you can get to him, just stand there. Suck all my tears in there, big boy. Take them all. You're, you're a bit full going. Okay, should be should be getting down to phase two here pretty soon. Okay, it's gonna be close. It's gonna be really close. I think we may have this though. Shoot smart, not not a lot. Just shoot smart. You're going, you're, you have eye frames going, 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 going. Please, empty vessel, please. Empty vessel, please. Yes! We're gamers! Okay, Jesus Christ. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. If you enjoyed that run, let me know down below. A like and a comment goes a long way for a guy like me. That was genuinely just fucking nerve-wracking. Aside from that, guys, I have been BD1P. That was fucking intense. Peace out and goodbye.